Hello and welcome to City Connection. I'm Officer John Hickson with the Ventura Police Department. I'm standing in front of the new Police and Fire Command Post vehicle. Today I'm at the Ventura County Fair, but we also use this vehicle for a variety of other functions, including hazmat incidents, SWAT callouts, natural disasters, and special events throughout our city. This vehicle is equipped with all the latest technology. So come aboard. Hi, I'm David Scales. I'm the Systems Specialist for the Ventura Police Department. I run all the computer systems for the police. And we're at the County Fair to show you our Ventura Police Command Post, which we use for all kinds of different call-out situations for SWAT, emergencies, uh, fire department emergencies, public work emergencies, floods, that type of thing. But here we're at the fair and you might be wondering, what are you doing at the fair? Well, a lot of times they want uh, officers to be at the fair just in case anything happens and so we roll out what we call a command post. Command post is a 35-foot recreational vehicle that's been special built for police department. Uh, if you first look at it, it looks like it might sleep about 12 people, but that's not the case. Uh, the case is it's got four police radios, it has a full computer network, it has a complete phone system, and uh, it's pretty much prepared for any type of police or fire emergency. And uh, we can roll that out into any location, hook up whatever we need, and we're fully equipped to do any kind of police operation right at this com command post. The command post is basically divided into three areas. There is a front command area, there is a middle galley and conference area, and there is a rear communications area where all the dispatching is done. Uh, the center area contains most of the connectivity equipment that controls the telephones and the computers. The rear where the dispatching is has a lot of electronics where the, all the police radios for dispatching and all the computers for dispatching are located as well. Uh, the command post has full connectivity back to the main police headquarters at all times and uh, you will see a lot of activity in the command post for officers running through the main and the front areas in the conference and meeting areas. Prior to this command post we had what you might call a fifth wheel. It was approximately a 25 foot fifth wheel. It was, I believe it was called an airliner. It was an old silver looking aircraft looking fifth wheel and it's about 15 years old. We did pull the old telephone system out of it. It's still operational. It still works fine. But all the rest of the equipment has been replaced, and the command post as well. So now we're in the 21st century. The command post is used for all types of situations. Uh, in this case, the command post is located at a special event, the county fair. The command post is also used at other special events. Uh, the same location, they have a warp tour every year. Uh, there's also police and fire situations, such as a SWAT call-out or a hazmat call-out. You might wonder, why would you put a command post at a hazmat call out? Well, this command post also has an exterior shower in the event someone needs to wash down real quick. They pop out the shower and take a shower right on the outside. Command post was built by Farber Specialty Vehicles in Ohio. It took about six months for us to develop the specs working with Farber, and uh, it took about four months to then complete the vehicle. After it was completed, it was driven from Ohio straight to Ventura, California. Although the command post might say Ventura Police and Fire, it's actually a city vehicle. So it may find it on occasion to be used by public works in just about any kind of situation for public relations or if there's uh, some kind of natural disaster that may involve more than police and fire. Hi, I'm Lieutenant David Wilson. And we'd like to uh, tell you a little bit about what we do with our uh, new command post here at the City of Ventura. And essentially our command post is split up into three areas. Our front area we use as a uh, command and control where um, the commanders of a, an event would gather with the supervisors and plot out our course of action for any type of event we may be working. There's a central area that has a little kitchenette and a restroom so for long-term events we have the abilities to remain comfortable and, and keep our employees uh, with all the things they need to stay on an event for a long time. In the rear area, area of the command post is set up for a communication center. Also in a uh, crisis uh, situation, our crisis negotiators would use this area 
uh, to negotiate with uh, any suspects that we may be uh, trying to communicate with. We have had a chance to use this command post actually within about a month of it being delivered in a uh, situation in East Ventura where a man barricaded himself in a residence with a gun. Uh, where this command post comes in handy is that we were able to store equipment on it and within a moment's notice turn the engine on and drive it out to the scene of an incident. And the command post is equipped with essentially everything we need to run a large scale incident uh, for a long period of time and compared to how it used to be we were having all of our equipment in multiple vehicles or the old command post trailer took some time to hook up and deliver out to the scene where today um, we could be at the scene as quick as another vehicle. Another great aspect about this uh, command post is our ability to ins install communications and electronic equipment that essentially allows us to use this command posts as a mini police station. And for instance, we could, if we had to, come out and operate our police operation out of this command post. And the communications equipment, electronic equipment in the command post allows us to do that. We're able to hook up uh, through the World Wide Web into our department computer system and get all the files and access all the different information we'd be able to do inside the police building from this command post and we could do that anywhere um, we may go, whether it be an industrial area or residential area. It's all um, available to us and uh, we can get that information quickly and without a delay, which in the past has been a problem for us trying to operate from a remote location. What we're looking at here is an officer that's on scene of a call, which is indicated by a little telephone on the screen and it shows the officer here with his call sign so we know who it is and then we see his backup that drove from another part of the city just arriving on the scene. In a situation where we're, we have a large incident or a command type incident we could bring this mapping system up and show where our officers are assigned and kind of get an idea of what our perimeter looks like and it's just one more tool that we can use so we don't have to send someone out into the field and uh, walk around and kind of key where everyone's at. Thank you for joining us this week on City Connection. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our new Police and Fire Command Post vehicle. Watch for us at the next City event.